Yo, uh, what is going on guys? You already know, it's the O Orlando. And today I bring you guys the top five best builds to hit legend with the fastest. This year you need specific builds if you're trying to hit legend fast. I mean, you can use any build to hit legend with, but with some builds, it's gonna take you a few thousand more games played to reach legend than if you would use these five builds. People like Nadex, Shock DF, and other top rep players use these builds that hit legend quickly i mean they hit legend in like two months which is insane and if they were to use a different build it would have took them two to three thousand more games played to reach legend than what they did right now i mean they had really good rep methods and they had good builds to go along with it everyone kind of knows the rep methods you know like throwing lobs and catching lobs and flashy passes and all of that helps you get a lot of rep this year but if you do it with any build, some builds get less rep for throwing an alley-oop pass. Some builds get less rep for catching an alley-oop blob. But with these builds, they pretty much give you the maximum rep for each of those things you do in the game. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Yo, are you looking for affordable professional NBA jerseys? Well, look no further. JerseyGods.com offers the same high quality replica NBA and NFL jerseys for a low, low price. Selections include current NBA jerseys, throwback NBA jerseys, NBA shorts, and even NFL jerseys for a fraction of the price. Make sure you use code OG for a discount. The link will be in the description down below. The first build on the list I have for you guys is the pure playmaker build. This is the build the top rep, the first top rep in the world, Chalk DF, actually used to reach legend with, okay? So this is how you make this build. You're gonna wanna make him into a point guard, all right? A point guard and pick the pure playmaking pie chart that is a mostly orange pie chart. And after that, for the second pie chart, you can just pick the fastest speed, which is the first one. And then you're gonna want the stats to read like this. Three finishing, 15 shooting, 13 playmaking and nine defensive rebounding badges. This build is a decent build, all right? It's a decent build. It's gonna get you rep. That's why you make this build if you wanna get a lot of rep. With this build, you're gonna wanna throw like three to five laps per game. And then the rest of the way, you're gonna wanna get assists by throwing, you know, flashy passes. And you're gonna get like 12, 13K, maybe 15K of rep per game. 15,000 my points, okay? If you were to do the same rep method with like a pure sharpshooter, you would get like 8,000 my points. You get like half of what you would actually get if you had a pure playmaker, okay? But yeah, the height for this build, I would say 6'5 would be the perfect height. You can do minimum weight or whatever weight you prefer. And then for the wingspan, you're, you're gonna wanna go with 79.8 wingspan. And after that, you get a choice of two takeovers. Choose whichever one you like. And then it will tell you at the end you have built a playmaker but yeah this build was made really famous by chalk df just because he was the first legend so a lot of people have made this build so they can rep grind and reach legend quickly and that's why it's on the list the next build on the list is what i consider a better build than the pure playmaker build to rep grind with okay and that is the slashing playmaker like the pure playmaker build with the slashing playmaker, you're gonna wanna make him into a point guard and pick the mostly orange pie chart, the uh, primarily playmaking pie chart. And then you're gonna wanna pick the speed pie chart. And after that, you're gonna want your badges to read 11 finishing, 15 shooting, 27 playmaking badges, and nine defensive rebounding badges. This build gets the same amount of reps for throwing lobs and flashy passes and all of that as the pure playmaker but the stats are way better and the badges are just better. Well, better laid out. They're more even in all the categories, okay? And for the height on this build, you're gonna wanna go with six foot five. And for the weight on this build, you're just gonna wanna keep it at 195. You don't wanna go minimum. Your speed's already maxed out and you don't wanna drop your strength on a slashing playmaker because you want the strength to be a little high so you're able to, you know, get those contact dunks and contact finishes. If you guys didn't know, strength actually helps with that. And then with the wingspan, you're just gonna wanna drop it to minimum wingspan to increase your shooting, okay? With this build, you're gonna be able to shoot pretty consistently. You're gonna be able to finish really, really good. 
your playmaking and dribbling is amazing your defensive stats are really pretty good this build all around is actually an amazing build i feel like this build is way better to grind rep with than a pure playmaker and this build the stats are better you get a choice of three takeovers and when it's said and done it tells you you have built a slashing playmaker and this build gives you the same amount of rep as a pure playmaker build but the stats and badges are way better and that's why it's on the list and the next build on the list is a playmaking shot creator okay you're gonna want to make them into a point guard and you're gonna want to pick the orange and green pie chart the playmaking and shooting pie chart you can pick the first pie chart for the speed and then you're gonna want your badges to read like this four finishing 22 shooting 20 playmaking six defensive rebounding badges you're gonna want to make them six foot five a minimum weight to increase your speed and then you're gonna want to do minimum wingspan and your stats are gonna be really good this build gives you a lot of rep not as much rep as the playmaker and the slashing playmaker because you're not the pure playmaker pie chart the orange one you're actually like the green and orange one but you're still able to get a lot of rep i use this build for most of puma mania and i was getting like 13,000 my points per game okay i was getting like 12 13,000. i was getting a bunch of rep with this build i mean if you hit spot up uh three point shots you're gonna get a lot of rep on this build because you have partially green pie chart your flashy passes alley-oop assists give you a really good amount of rep so this build is really good if you don't want to like be a you know slashing playmaker or a playmaker you want to be able to shoot better and still get a lot of rep this is the build you got to make okay you can throw three labs and then shoot the rest of the game and you'll still get tons and tons of rep but after you finish this build you get a choice of four takeover badges pick one and then it will tell you you have built the playmaking shot creator this build is an amazing alternative if you don't want to be a slashing playmaker or a pure playmaker you can shoot way better still get tons of rep and that's why it's on the list the next build on the list is the pure slasher this is a build for the people who don't want to be a guard they don't want to be the ball dominant guy they just want to chill relax and get tons of rep and this is the perfect build for you okay for this build you're going to want to make them into a small forward you could go shooting guard but you want to be taller okay so small forward is the perfect height for this build and then you're going to want to pick the mostly blue pie chart the one that is mostly finishing and then for the second pie chart on this one this is the first time you don't pick the speed one for this build since you're a slasher you want your strength to be super high and you want your speed to be you know all right and your vertical to be high so you're going to want to go with the second pie chart on this chart okay you can either go with the second one or the fourth pie chart but i would go with the second one i made a slasher and i went with the second one and for the attributes on this build the badges should read 28 finishing one shooting 15 playmaking and 11 defensive rebounding badges you're probably wondering why it has so many playmaking badges you really don't need that many well i'll explain that on a different video because this is actually the newest build i've made and i really enjoy it i'm still grinding the badges but i picked this attribute setup for a certain reason okay and it's for you know rub grinding and all of that and i'll explain that on my slashing video that should be dropping later this week or maybe early next week okay guys but we're just going to continue on for the weight on this build you're going to want to go with 231 232 around there and for the wingspan you're going to want to go with 90.7 max wingspan all right and your stats on this build as y'all can see your inside game's amazing you can't shoot for crap your playmaking and ball handling is really good your post moves is high so you can do you know spin post moves into the paint your defense and rebounding is pretty good for a small forward so you're going to be able to hang with the big guys in the paint you know and then you get a choice of three takeover badges you pick whichever one you like and then it tells you you have built a slasher and this build gives you incredible rep all you have to do is catch lobs catch three to five lobs per game play some defense and you're gonna get tons of rep on this build all right all you got to do is catch three to five lobs a game play some defense if you get some posterized dunks you get extra rep on this build so posterizing people gives you hella rep do your little hop stop layups and all of that and all of that rep adds up you're gonna be able to get as much rep as those guards builds but on a big man 
and you're not gonna have to play as hard as a guard you know since the guard has to do so much this builder is just kind of relaxing catching lobs and you know just playing the game in a relaxed state for the people who don't like to play guard this is the perfect rep grinding build and that's why it's on the list the next and last build on the list it's the build nadex hit legend with and nadex hit legend pretty darn fast as well it was like the third one on xbox to hit legend and this is what he made he made the interior finisher you're gonna want to make him into a power forward and then you're gonna want to pick the mostly blue pie chart all right mostly blue pie chart and then again for the second pie chart you're going to want to pick the second pie chart on the list so you get a balance of strength at vertical and some speed and after that you're going to want your badges to read this 30 finishing one shooting one playmaking and 12 defensive rebounding badges and for the height you're going to want to go with six foot ten because if you make them any taller you're just going to be a turtle out there you're going to be really slow and you don't want to be slow when you're rep grinding and trying to catch lobs. You want to be a little bit faster. Nadex made him into a power forward and six foot ten, so he can hang with the big men and grab boards and play defense and still have that kind of speed, you know? So six foot ten is perfect. And for the weight, you can just keep it at normal 238. And then you're gonna to want to go with max wingspan. And so y'all can see the stats on this build. They're very similar to that slasher small four build. You're one inch taller, you're a little bit slower but your interior defense stats are a little bit higher your ball handling stats are not the same you get less badges but it's still a really powerful build especially especially if you plan on playing the center position and trying to rep grind as that position this would be perfect for you but you get a choice of four takeover badges pick one and i'll tell you you have built the interior finisher that's the build nadex made that's the build nadex hit legend with I still prefer the small forward slasher over this build, but that's personal preference. I can rock with a 6'9". I don't need to be 6'10". I prefer to have a little bit more speed and more badges, but hey, that's just me. This build's still a really amazing build to hit Legend with, all right? You're going to get tons of rep by doing the same things a slasher does. Catch lobs, get poster dunks, do some hop step layups, euro steps, reverse acrobatic layups. All of that's going to give you tons and tons of rep do all of that in the game and you're gonna match you know a playmaker and a slashing playmakers rep and that's why it's on the list but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video these builds seriously are like the best builds to hit legend with quickly there is other builds but they're just kind of scuff builds i know you guys in the comments are going to be like well i use this build i use the inside outside upside down sideways power forward build that gives me tons and tons of rep but your stats are probably cruised all of these builds right here have good stats they're able to play against tryhards with these builds and all of that so i feel like these were the best so make sure you guys comment like and subscribe down below but for right now guys i'm the yo and i'm out Rats coming i put my low racks on it i ain't skip past losses i had to get back off it see the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin money clip i tossed it i heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming uh -huh. coming in yeah flex i just wanna win yeah. la bb